Well, they did the debate, as we were talking about, and uh, Vivek spared Christie absolutely nothing. Christie and Nikki Haley, he went after both of them. Go ahead and check out this first clip here. I want to say one thing about the tie to Ukraine, if I may. So foreign policy experience is not the same as foreign policy wisdom. I want everybody at home to know that I was the first person to say we need a reasonable peace deal in Ukraine. Now a lot of the neocons are quietly coming along to that position, with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden, who still support this, what I believe is pointless war in Ukraine. And I think those with foreign policy experience, one thing that Joe Biden and Nikki Haley have in common is that neither of them could even state for you three provinces in eastern Ukraine that they want to send our troops to actually fight for. Look at that. This is what I want people to understand. These people have, I mean, she has no idea what the hell the names of those provinces are, but she wants to send our sons and daughters and our troops and our military equipment to go fight it. So reject this myth that they've been selling you, that somebody had a cup of coffee stint at the U.N. and then makes eight million bucks after, has real foreign policy experience. It takes an outsider to see this through. Look at the blank expression. She doesn't know the names of the provinces that she wants to actually fight. She knows he's right. She knows knows he's right. The donors donors right there that are playing like the puppet master. Hold on, hold on. That look on her face is the look of someone who knows that he just got her. She knew he had her right there. He was absolutely, she couldn't, because if she did, if she did know the names of the provinces, she should have rattled them off right there. She knew that he had her. Nikki Haley wants to send your kids to die in a country that she doesn't even know the names of the provinces or geographical regions in. She's a war hawk and a tyrant. She can't be allowed anywhere near the White House, and I think he might have just ended her campaign right there. So here's my question. For you, the audience, let me know in the comments on Rumble, what do you think? What do you think Nikki Haley's next job will be after this campaign comes to its inevitable end? Mia, what do you think? What's Nikki Haley going to do? I'm thinking OnlyFans. I was going to say that. OnlyFans? OnlyFans. I think that's her only move. But you know she's like a dominatrix too, right? So she's the one doing guys with a strap on from behind like and stuff. sheila from shameless sheila from we're watching shameless right now if you guys all the references um yeah no i think she's the one that's gonna be be doing she, she'll probably you know what she could probably make a lot of money doing is getting people that look like her opponents so she does the dominatrix thing on a scrawny indian guy and pretends it's vivek she gets a big fat italian to come in she, you know, she'll boss him around and put him on a dog chain, feed him pizza, pretend it's Chris Christie. Like, that's right. You, you, you tell Trump, you tell him what's up. She could make a lot of money doing that. The Nikki Haley OnlyFans account. You know what she could also do? What's that? Cameo. She could do cameo. <laughs> she wouldn't beat George Santos, though. Nobody wants that shrill. Okay, think about this. You have $400 burning a hole in your pocket. Are you going to get it from that shrill pandering war criminal that looks like she's never laughed a day in her life unless it was at the suffering of small children or are you going to get it from a catty gay man in a sweater that's two sizes too small what are you going to spend your money on of course you're going to get santos she'd get wiped out it wouldn't be close Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.